Hi, my name is Gina Stipo, and I'm here in Tuscany with Filippo Gambassi. Filippo is the owner of Terra di Siena. He's a fifth generation Tuscan butcher, and he now produces his products in America. And I'm thrilled with that because uh, the Tuscan products of, um, stage of aged pork are some of the best um, that we find in Italy. These are uh, just an example of some of the things that Filippo makes. In Italy, uh, we have a Coppa Cola that is surrounded with fennel. We have a piece of prosciutto. He makes different salamis. <clears throat> this is an aged uh, pork cheek, which is delicious, with an amatriciana. This piece is what we in America and Italy call pancetta. In Tuscany, it's called rigatino. Rigatino is the Tuscan word for pancetta. And then this is something that's very, very special that, you, uh, that is very difficult to find. It's one of my favorites. This is an aged pork loin, which is fantastic. The way that we eat these in Tuscany and that we urge you to try these products and eat them as well is um, they're sliced and served as an antipasto. Uh, Tuscany is called an affettati misti. And for those of you who've been to Tuscany, I'm sure you've had that. Um, we serve it with some wonderful bread, Tuscan bread. Um, Filippo is slicing the prosciutto very, very thin. Um, the prosciutto, the coppa cola, salamis, the dried um, sausages, uh, sliced very thin and served as an antipasto or a delicious way to start the meal. And that's the best way to use these products. That with a wonderful glass of Tuscan wine. And uh, it's a good start to the meal. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. This piece here is a piece of capocola. Capocola is an entire muscle from the neck of the pig. Um, these products are sold in, in a whole piece so that you cut them by hand. Um, they're best when they're cut at the last moment. And um, there may be differences, maybe a little thicker, a little thinner, but that's part of the beauty of the product. Now, um, this, this particular product, the capocola, is surrounded with pieces of fennel. There's also a little bit of a mold that grows on the outside of, the, of, um, of all the salamis, really. That mold is what uh, is a very important part of the product. It's what gives it its flavor. These products are all artisanal and handmade. Um, it, this mold won't hurt you. It's part of the product. So you just um, take that off, brush it off, or scrape it off with a knife. If you eat it, it's fine. We eat it in Tuscany all the time. Um, but that's how you should eat this product. This is a product that I'm especially excited about. It is, it's called the Lonza, and it is an aged uh, loin. You know, you go to the store and you get a pork loin to roast for dinner. Well, this is uh, salted and cured for how many months? A year? Three months. Three, three or four months. Um, and uh, this is a product that's difficult to find even in Tuscany. Uh, you see that um, if you were roasting it, it would go with the fat side up. But this is an aged piece. It's covered with um, with a fennel and it's wrapped in paper. And in order to prepare it, you just peel the paper back. And if you want, you can scrape a little of there's a pepper and salt and garlic that's around it, and also some fennel. We just scrape a little bit of that off and then slice it. And that's fantastic on an antipasto plate. <laughs> Okay, um, Filippo, would you help us to uh, understand how's the best way to slice, uh, to peel the skin off of the salami? Sure. It's better to make the slice. This is how you do it at home, right? Yeah. You slice it and then you remove the skin? Yeah. One at a time, that leaves the rest of the it's salami. It's very simple. Casing. Beautiful. Or, if you prefer, we can cut a little bit there. Yeah, make like a little border. That's the way my grandfather used to do it. Yeah. You know? He did a little bit, about as much as he thought he was going to eat. He would clean, yeah. and then slice it. And now it's ready to eat. Yeah. This little guy is one of my favorites. It's not a salami. This is a dried sausage. So you make the sausages, but instead of uh, cooking them and eating yeah. them while they're fresh, you will um, allow them to age. And uh, this is how, Filippo, go ahead and pull the skin off of that. These are just fantastic. This is the first time that they've ever been in America. I can oh. tell you that. So um, these are one of my favorites. How do you do them? It's better to remove uh these parts. <laughs> you 
These are also fantastic if you're on a picnic and you don't have a knife. <laughs> you yeah, tear you that can... skin off with your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> and you just start eating the salami. That's the rustic way, the rustic Tuscan way. The contadino way. Maybe the Gina way. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what are these seasoned with? This is a, a little spicy with fresh garlic, with some uh, black pepper. There's a little hot pepper in there too? Yeah. Yeah, you can see it's a little yellow or a little uh, red. Delicious. Ooh, these look delicious. Enjoy. Okay. Okay, Filippo is holding a beautiful piece of prosciutto that is aged 18 months and is covered with uh, black pepper and garlic and salt. And um, he's going to show us how to, to uh, clean this and how to cut this. There really is no cleaning except there's a little piece of skin that has to be cut off. The most important part about this product is that the fat is there. The sweetness of the fat balances the saltiness of the meat. So you don't cut fat off prosciutto. Very important, right? Very important, okay. especially for traditional Tuscan. Exactly, and this is an artisanal, handmade product. The fat is actually good for you. Um, it has no hormones added. There are no, no nitrates added to these products, and so they're very, very good for you. So go ahead and cut that. Here we have our finished plate, ant uh, antipasto of affettati misti from Toscana. We have our prosciutto, our coppicola, our salami, and our, our lonza which is the loin. I want to thank Filippo for bringing these wonderful products to America, and uh, you can order them. Filippo and I are now going to enjoy some afitatinissi with a glass of wine. Buon appetito. Enjoy.